hello lovers of good things thank you for coming welcome back to the channel without wasting time we are driving straight to the center of the event where the hunters are going to be presenting the catch of the day this is what they are going to use for sacrifice if you have been following my channel for a while now you know i have been in winneba for some days i think this is my third day here so today happens to be the peak of the event they have been on this since monday and um so they have been preparation ahead of you know today so today is finally here and it means a lot to the people of winneba so yeah uh i'm going to be telling you guys the story behind the celebration i have it in one of my videos but i just realized that this video will be up before that one so it's only fair that i repeat the story if you're ready please don't forget to hit the subscribe button don't forget to like this video please like this particular video i beg you i went through a lot to be able to get the clips you're looking at okay so um we can go into the story but before we go into the story i think i want to share with you the winner of the, um, this year abortre festival this year um the the hunter the hunting group or the hunter group that caught the animal of uh, the the white that is um the taufo asafo group they are the one that catch the antelope for this year so they have two hunting groups um that usually go into the forest to hunt they go separately and all of that will be in my second video that will be up after this so they will go into their forest separately and hunt for the antelope whoever catched it that is the winner for the year so i wanted to know if there's a prize i think that other video will explain better so let me go straight into the story behind the festival of the winneba people before now if you have been following my channel for some time you see that i have been here for like three days now i have been avoiding talking about the story behind the festival because i didn't have enough information about it and it would be very disrespectful to just write anything or say anything so i wanted to ask and then i asked someone and i don't know how accurate this information that he gave me is but the question i asked him wasn't really about the festival is about the um, discovery that i made at their cultural center so i wanted to know why i'm seeing people human heads uh people other other human being beheading other human being why so the young man explained to me that before now this festival used to be um they used to maybe you know i don't even know how to put it so for it to sound right but i'm going to try my best to put it anyways so for before now instead of the antelope you saw in the video it used to be human being that they usually use for the celebration like for the sacrifice so when the people of ifutu cried out to their gods that they should please be there should be an alternative because this time of the year back then in the days um they will they will appoint anybody the the gods can decide to pick anyone from the royal home and say, okay this year this is the person we need for sacrifice the chief priest will have no choice but to bring the report back to the royal home and then to the whole community and then the people who agree in one voice they will not save the, the person that the gods had picked for sacrifice they will take that person behead that person and use that person for sacrifice and uh, most of the time and all of the time according to the young man that gave me the information um is always crown princes people from you know the next king of the land someone that is supposed to be the next leader the gods made demand for that head so the people said okay this is not healthy for our future give us an alternative um you know give us an alternative we are willing to do it but we don't want to continue using uh, human being for sacrifice it doesn't make any sense so yeah every day we see our brother i mean every year our brothers will die 
in the name of sacrifice. So please give us an alternative. And then the gods, after the chief priest had consulted the gods of the land, the gods came up with an alternative, which the people of Ifudu didn't even know was even more deadly, dangerous than the first alternative, like the first way of sacrificing so the gods told them according to the chief priest that they should go to the forest and hunt for a lion and bring that lion for sacrifice so the people without any hesitation went into the forest to hunt for the lion on getting there the lion attacked and killed more than 50 able body young men but they succeeded at the end of the day that is the remaining people the remaining hunters succeeded in bringing the lion back home for sacrifice i see you know okay let's continue with the story before i give my take on things i have noticed on the streets of winneba since i came okay yeah so the when they came back that year sacrifice happened but the people went back to their gods again and cried for another alternative because that wasn't even working that is even worse than the first now they just lose more than 50 able-bodied young men so it doesn't make any sense the gods should have mercy and bring another alternative that will not have to do with human life at all completely should be something else they are willing to give it as long as it's not a human being they are willing to do it so the gods after some appeal the gods finally agreed that okay it's going to be an antelope or i don't know how you call this animal is it a diff or antelope whatever it's called uh, it tells them he told them to go into the bush to hunt and they will catch an antelope and they should bring it for sacrifice so yeah they have two hunting groups like i've said earlier uh in the order of my video you're going to see because i actually went with the hunters that early morning to see how they prepare themselves for for the ritual like to go into the bush yo so yeah but in this one this is the story that i was told and then since then they have been happy living happily without any problem they don't have to kill anybody any human being for sacrifice you know so what i wanted to say earlier is the fact that i think the people of winneba are very strong i used to see able-bodied people on the streets and i'll be like ah, why um i think maybe it's due to this they are strong they are brave you know they are hunters they are friendly too i didn't tell you that part yeah and uh, in case you're wondering i thought you were a christian lily yes so that is very true okay stop thinking i am a christian i believe in the gospel of our lord jesus christ okay i was born a christian uh, i don't know if i wasn't born a christian i would have been a christian but i am a christian i actually love the fact that i believe in god and i believe in jesus but let me tell you something i am a very open-minded person and i love to respect the views and belief of other people okay at the end of the day we don't even know who is doing the right thing as long as you are right with your conscience you're doing everything right you don't kill other people you don't bring pain to people i believe you are a child of god so yeah um i believe and respect in the tradition of the people of Winneba and also the tradition of anywhere I go to because where I come from we have a tradition even though I don't indulge in all they do uh, with the people of where I come from it doesn't mean that I'm against them you get it and let me tell you something there is power in uh, what you believe you understand there's power in what you believe in your heart is very important like it's very powerful so you see this population of people here they have one thing in mind in common and that is the belief for whatever they believe in so who am i not to believe i mean what they as in i respect what they believe it's not like i believe what they believe but i respect what they believe i wanted to know why they are so certain that they are going to catch the animal so the young man told me that because there was rain yesterday and it's true the rain came around 12 and it fell till 
four o'clock in the afternoon in the evening so yeah thank you so much for watching this video i don't know how accurate the story is so if you want to correct it do so respectfully okay uh thank you so much for watching this one i'll see you in my next one bye